In mathematics, an isomorphism from the ancient Greek, isos isos, equal, and morphe morphe, form, or shape is a homomorphism or morphism i.e. a mathematical mapping that can be reversed by an inverse morphism. Two mathematical objects are isomorphic if an isomorphism exists between them. An automorphism is an isomorphism whose source and target coincide. The interest of isomorphisms lies in the fact that two isomorphic objects cannot be distinguished by using only the properties used to define morphisms, thus isomorphic objects may be considered the same as long as one considers only these properties and their consequences. For most algebraic structures, including groups and rings, a homomorphism is an isomorphism if and only if it is bijective. In topology, where the morphisms are continuous functions, isomorphisms are also called homeomorphisms or bicontinuous functions. In mathematical analysis, where the morphisms are differentiable functions, isomorphisms are also called diffeomorphisms. A canonical isomorphism is a canonical map that is an isomorphism. Two objects are said to be canonically isomorphic if there is a canonical isomorphism between them. For example, the canonical map from a finite dimensional vector space V to its second dual space is a canonical isomorphism, on the other hand, V is isomorphic to its dual space but not canonically in general. Isomorphisms are formalized using category theory. A morphism f, x, y in a category is an isomorphism if it admits a two-sided inverse, meaning that there is another morphism g, y x in that category such that g f topic 1 x and f g 1y, where 1x and 1y are the identity morphisms of x and y, respectively. Examples Logarithm and exponential Let R plus display style math b r caret plus be the multiplicative group of positive real numbers and let r display style math b r be the additive group of real numbers the logarithm function log r plus r Display style log colon math b r caret plus two math b r satisfies log x y equals log x plus log y Display style log x y equals log x plus log y for all x y element of R plus display style x y in math b R caret plus so it is a group homomorphism. The exponential function exp R R plus display style exp colon math b r two math b r caret plus satisfies exp x plus y equals exp x exp Y display style exp x plus y equals exp x exp y for all x y element of R 
display style x y in math b r so it too is a homomorphism the identities log exp x equals x display style log exp x equals x and exp log y equals y display style exp log y equals y show that log display style log and exp display style exp are inverses of each other since log display style log is a homomorphism that has an inverse that is also a homomorphism log display style log is an isomorphism of groups because log display style log is an isomorphism it translates multiplication of positive real numbers into addition of real numbers this facility makes it possible to multiply real numbers using a ruler and a table of logarithms or using a slide rule with a logarithmic scale topic integers modulo 6 consider the group z 6 plus display style math b z underscore 6 plus the integers from 0 to 5 with addition modulo 6 also consider the group z 2 times z 3 plus display style math b z underscore 2 times math b z underscore 3 plus the ordered pairs where the x coordinates can be 0 or 1 and the y coordinates can be 0 1 or 2 where addition in the x coordinate is modulo 2 and addition in the y coordinate is modulo 3 these structures are isomorphic under addition under the following scheme 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 2 2 1 0 3 0 1 4 1 2 5 or in general a b 3 a plus 4 b mod 6 for example 1 1 plus 1 0 topic 0 1 which translates in the other system as 1 plus 3 4. Even though these two groups look different in that the sets contain different elements, they are indeed isomorphic, their structures are exactly the same. More generally, the direct product of two cyclic groups Z M Z M and Z N display style math b z underscore n is isomorphic to z m n plus display style math b z underscore minnesota plus if and only if m and n are ka prime per the chinese remainder theorem Topic: Relation preserving isomorphism. If one object consists of a set X with a binary relation R and the other object consists of a set Y with a binary relation S, then an isomorphism from X to Y is a bijective function f x y such that 
S F U F V R U V Display style operator name S F U F V I F F operator name R U V S is reflexive, a reflexive, symmetric, antisymmetric, asymmetric, transitive, total, trichotomous, a partial order, total order, well order, strict weak order, total preorder, weak order, an equivalence relation, or a relation with any other special properties, if and only if R is. For example, R is an ordering and S an ordering. Display style, script style, squesubsetek. Then an isomorphism from x to y is a bijective function f, x, y such that f u f v u v. Display style f u squesubsetek f v i f f u l e q v. Such an isomorphism is called an order isomorphism or less commonly an isotone isomorphism. If x equals y, then this is a relation preserving automorphism. equals equals isomorphism versus bijective morphism equals equals in a concrete category that is, roughly speaking, a category whose objects are sets and morphisms are mappings between sets, such as the category of topological spaces or categories of algebraic objects like groups, rings, and modules, an isomorphism must be bijective on the underlying sets. In algebraic categories specifically, categories of varieties in the sense of universal algebra, an isomorphism is the same as a homomorphism which is bijective on underlying sets. However, there are concrete categories in which bijective morphisms are not necessarily isomorphisms such as the category of topological spaces, and there are categories in which each object admits an underlying set but in which isomorphisms need not be bijective such as the homotopy category of CW complexes. <laughs> Applications equals In abstract algebra, two basic isomorphisms are defined Group isomorphism, an isomorphism between groups Ring isomorphism, an isomorphism between rings Isomorphisms between fields are actually ring isomorphisms just as the automorphisms of an algebraic structure form a group, the isomorphisms between two algebras sharing a common structure form a heap. Letting a particular isomorphism identify the two structures turns this heap into a group. In mathematical analysis, the Laplace transform is an isomorphism mapping hard differential equations into easier algebraic equations. In category theory, let the category C consist of two classes, one of objects and the other of morphisms. Then a general definition of isomorphism that covers the previous and many other cases is, an isomorphism is a morphism f, a b that has an inverse, i.e. there exists a morphism g, b a with f g. Topic 1 b and g f 1 a for example, a bijective linear map is an isomorphism between vector spaces, and a bijective continuous function whose inverse is also continuous is an isomorphism between topological spaces, called a homeomorphism. In graph theory, an isomorphism between two graphs G and H is a bijective map F from the vertices of G to the vertices of H that preserves the edge structure in the sense that there is an edge from vertex U to vertex V in G if and only if there is an edge from F to F in H see graph isomorphism. 
In mathematical analysis, an isomorphism between two Hilbert spaces is a bijection-preserving addition, scalar multiplication, and inner product. In early theories of logical atomism, the formal relationship between facts and true propositions was theorized by Bertrand Russell and Ludwig Wittgenstein to be isomorphic. An example of this line of thinking can be found in Russell's Introduction to Mathematical Philosophy. In cybernetics, the good regulator or conant ashby theorem is stated, "...every good regulator of a system must be a model of that system." Whether regulated or self-regulating, an isomorphism is required between the regulator and processing parts of the system. Topic relation with equality in certain areas of mathematics, notably category theory, it is valuable to distinguish between equality on the one hand and isomorphism on the other. Equality is when two objects are exactly the same, and everything that's true about one object is true about the other, while an isomorphism implies everything that's true about a designated part of one object's structure is true about the others. For example, the sets O equals x element of Z x two two display style A equals x in Math B Z mid x carrot two and B equals minus one zero one display style B equals minus one zero one air equal they are merely different representations, the first an intentional one in set builder notation, and the second extensional by explicit enumeration of the same subset of the integers. By contrast, the sets A, B, C and 1, 2, 3 are not equal, the first has elements that are letters, while the second has elements that are numbers. These are isomorphic as sets, since finite sets are determined up to isomorphism by their cardinality number of elements and these both have three elements, but there are many choices of isomorphism. One isomorphism is a one B two C three Display style text a mapsto one text B mapsto two text C mapsto three while another is a three B two C one Display style text a mapsto three text b mapsto two text c mapsto one, and no one isomorphism is intrinsically better than any other. On this view and in this sense, these two sets are not equal because one cannot consider them identical. One can choose an isomorphism between them, but that is a weaker claim than identity, and valid only in the context of the chosen isomorphism. Sometimes the isomorphisms can seem obvious and compelling, but are still not equalities. As a simple example, the genealogical relationships among Joe, John, and Bobby Kennedy are, in a real sense, the same as those among the American football quarterbacks in the Manning family, Archie, Peyton, and Eli. The father-son pairings and the elder brother-younger brother pairings correspond perfectly. That similarity between the two family structures illustrates the origin of the word isomorphism Greek iso same and morph form or shape but because the kennedys are not the same people as the mannings the two genealogical structures are merely isomorphic and not equal Another example is more formal and more directly illustrates the motivation for distinguishing equality from isomorphism, the distinction between a finite dimensional vector space V and its dual space V asterisk equals phi v k of linear maps from V to its field of scalars k. These spaces have the same dimension, and thus are isomorphic as abstract vector spaces since algebraically, vector spaces are classified by dimension, just as sets are classified by cardinality, but there is no «natural» choice of isomorphism V 
v display style script style v over set sim 2 v caret asterisk if one chooses a basis for v then this yields an isomorphism for all u v element of v v phi v element of v such that phi v u equals v t u display style v over set sim mapsto phi underscore v in v caret asterisk quad text such that quad phi underscore v u equals v caret mathrm t u this corresponds to transforming a column vector element of v to a row vector element of v asterisk by transpose, but a different choice of basis gives a different isomorphism. The isomorphism depends on the choice of basis. More subtly, there is a map from a vector space v to its double dual v asterisk asterisk equals x v asterisk k that does not depend on the choice of basis for all v and v and phi element of v asterisk v x v element of v such that x v phi equals phi v display style v over set sim mapsto x underscore v in v caret asterisk asterisk quad text such that quad x underscore v phi equals phi v this leads to a third notion, that of a natural isomorphism. While v and v asterisk asterisk are different sets, there is a natural choice of isomorphism between them. This intuitive notion of an isomorphism that does not depend on an arbitrary choice is formalized in the notion of a natural transformation, briefly, that one may consistently identify, or more generally map from, a finite dimensional vector space to its double dual v v display style script style v over set sim to v caret asterisk asterisk for any vector space in a consistent way formalizing this intuition as a motivation for the development of category theory however there is a case where the distinction between natural isomorphism and equality is usually not made that is for the objects that may be characterized by a universal property. In fact, there is a unique isomorphism, necessarily natural, between two objects sharing the same universal property. A typical example is the set of real numbers, which may be defined through infinite decimal expansion, infinite binary expansion, Cauchy sequences, Dedekind cuts and many other ways. Formally these constructions define different objects, which all are solutions of the same universal property. As these objects have exactly the same properties, one may forget the method of construction and considering them as equal. This is what everybody does when talking of the set of the real numbers. The same occurs with quotient spaces, they are commonly constructed as sets of equivalence classes. However, talking of set of sets may be counterintuitive, and quotient spaces are commonly considered as a pair of a set of undetermined objects, often called points, and a surjective map onto this set. If one wishes to draw a distinction between an arbitrary isomorphism, one that depends on a choice, and a natural isomorphism, one that can be done consistently, one may write approximately equals for an unnatural isomorphism and for a natural isomorphism as in v approximately equals v asterisk and v v asterisk asterisk. This convention is not universally followed, and authors who wish to distinguish between unnatural isomorphisms and natural isomorphisms will generally explicitly state the distinction. 
Generally, saying that two objects are equal is reserved for when there is a notion of a larger ambient space that these objects live in. Most often, one speaks of equality of two subsets of a given set as in the integer set example above, but not of two objects abstractly presented. For example, the two-dimensional unit sphere in three-dimensional space S 2 equals x y z element of r 3 x 2 plus y 2 plus z 2 equals 1 Display style s caret two equals x y z in math b r caret three mid x caret two plus y caret two plus z caret two equals one, and the Riemann sphere c caret display style wide hat math b c which can be presented as the one-point compactification of the complex plane C infinity or as the complex projective line a quotient space P C 1 equals C 2 0 0 C Display style Math BF P underscore Math B C carrot one equals Math B C carrot two set minus zero zero Math B C carrot asterisk are three different descriptions for a mathematical object, all of which are isomorphic, but not equal because they are not all subsets of a single space. The first is a subset of R3, the second is CR2 plus an additional point, and the third is a subquotient of C2. In the context of category theory, objects are usually at most isomorphic. Indeed, a motivation for the development of category theory was showy. Ing that different constructions in homology theory yielded equivalent isomorphic groups. Given maps between two objects X and Y, however, one asks if they are equal or not they are both elements of the set home X, Y, hence equality is the proper relationship, particularly in commutative diagrams. See also Bisimulation Heap Mathematics Isometry Isomorphism class Isomorphism theorem Universal property Notes <laughs> <laughs>